I filmed some strange opening scenes for a number of videos on this channel and a scene behind me probably seems it even makes me laugh but this is Southwell Marketplace lovely little market that they have here not that I'm a frequenter of markets but I do like Southwell and I've featured it on this channel a couple of times but today's very much in search of a mystery I may not even find what I'm looking for because I'm looking for a cocoon with a chrysalis in it. Well then, what do I know? What clues do I have about the topic of today's little video? Well, I know that the pupa and the cocoon was found a couple of weeks ago and a photo of it was posted for identification on Facebook. I did give a tentative identification, but I also suggested that the finders ought to have took it in view of where it is, liable to get swept away, and read it through and identified it once it emerged. Standard practice in Victorian and Edwardian times, everybody did that. If you didn't know what it was, you read it through and found it out. So, that's what I'm here for. That's why I'm looking for this chrysalis and cocoon. All I know, it's on Green Alconet which helps me to narrow it down because that's not going to be everywhere here. Well, I've had no problem finding the green alkanet. It looks as though it's self-sewn actually, the plant originally, and in full display is the cocoon and the chrysalis have come here for. Can't believe it, it's ridiculously easy to find. And completely fully exposed, I was turning over these fresh leaves and then I started to turn over some of these older leaves. But then I noticed that this one had the cocoon that I was after. In full view, completely exposed, just like that. Thankfully, the chrysalis is unhatched. So now we remove said leaf, and this is coming home. We'll find out what this is. very windy today windier than when I was moth trapping last night but at least we've had a successful little visit to Southall contained in here I hate things that remain a mystery that's why I decided to have a go at coming to Southall and finding what the original finders saw I thought if I come find it, we'll rear it through because it was bugging me. I know I'm very different to a lot of people, but say a hundred or so years ago, everyone collected everything and reared it through because that was the only way you could find out. And they're very easy to rear through anyway. You just put them in a container, give them something to climb up when they emerge, and Bob's your uncle. You can find out what something was. So hopefully after maybe another week or so we'll be able to give a definitive identification as to what the pupa was. And so those that found it, who are subscribers to this channel, will know what it was they found. It's more out of interest than anything else and if it did turn out to be Duke's Plusia then 
what's the record it would be. I don't think there's been one in South all this year. And the timing's not far off, but the pupa looks green inside, so it may well just turn out to be something very run-of-the-mill and ordinary, but hopefully it will hatch out this side of Christmas. I do like a mystery, even better when it can be solved. Well, I've arrived back home with the cocoon and chrysalis inside it and I've cut the cocoon open to reveal a shiny black chrysalis which is surprising because I thought I could see a green chrysalis through the cocoon but it's black as you can see quite shiny especially on the abdominal sections there a bit more matte on the thorax and around the head and the wing cases I think this is most likely going to be silver wine it's quite noticeably larger than all of the Dewey Plusia chrysalis that I had recently more bulky and larger quite beautiful though nice and jet black so all we need to do now is just wait hopefully it will be a few days or a week and we'll have an answer an answer to south hall's green alkanet mystery